What is up people? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with our cooking show and today we're going to be making hot dogs and I just woke up at like 3 p.m. So yeah, let's go do this. This is some uh, some hot dog buns that my mom made up yesterday night. So we're going to be using these and I'm going to be teaching you how to make hot dogs. First of all, what you want to do is get a knife and basically cut open the bun, which I'm gonna cut to later because I can't do this with one hand. Right now the hot dog bun is cut in half, and now you're gonna turn on. Okay, it's not working, it's leaking gas again. What you wanna do is open up the inside and just like put it on the pan. I kinda wanna get it to have a little bit of crispy texture to, you know, kind of make it a little more crunchy. Yeah, it's starting to almost get there. And I have a plate ready right here and some sausages. So we're gonna put these on there before they burn in a sec. So we're gonna turn this off. And let's get this over there. You probably can't see it much, but it's quite crispy at the moment. You hear that? That's a sound of crispiness. Now that's amazing, okay? That is amazing really hot inside too. Uh, I read a recipe online and it says I should somehow fill the, the pan with half an inch of water to cook the sausages so let's just turn this on and get it to boil real quick. So remember in my last video, uh, my last cooking video, the water video, this is tap water okay not water so yeah you gotta distinguish between those things. Here comes sausage number one. For some reason, my mom bought some Korean sausages. Two sausages, let's go, because I only have two buns, so yeah. So it's boiling, these wieners are cooking really quick, so we're about to get them out really fast. Probably just like half a minute more. And we're gonna take them out. All right, so we turn off the heat, so I don't really bother using any other cutlery, so I'm just gonna use a knife to pick it up. So don't do this because you're probably gonna lose your hot your wiener on the way. So we're gonna put it right here to kind of dry off a little bit, and you know, so we can put in the hot dog and not make the whole hot dog wet because you really don't want that. You want the dryness, and also you want it to be kind of crispy. Alright, so what you want to do now is put the, the wieners into the bun. So we gotta open the bun up and slap that wiener in there. And okay, the bun's kind of big, but you know, it's fine. Slap that in there and it's gonna start looking like a hot dog. By the way, I still don't know what a hot dog is. Some people say the hot dog is the wiener but it's also the whole dish. So what exactly is a hot dog? I have no idea. Next phase, after you do this, we got these things. Uh, this is mustard. Um, but for some reason, my mom didn't get this, the ones where you can screw it up because there weren't any left in the supermarket. And we, of course we got McDonald's ketchup. Quality ketchup, I love these things. And we have like 10, like dozens of them in the fridge, so. Why not use these? Um, so yeah, let's go. God, look at that. I think my brother put some ketchup in the mustard. That's not okay. So now we're gonna use a butter knife to do this. But we're just gonna get an even spread across the hot dog. This looks pretty weird, honestly. It doesn't look that good. It looks very unappetizing. But we all know it's gonna taste good in the end. So I love a lot of mustard. So here we go. Savage. That's not like a lot, but you know, it's something. And I'm gonna do it for the other one too, because I love this stuff. Even though I haven't actually tasted this brand before. But yeah, in general, mustard is amazing. And also, I'm gonna eat this. That's good. Actually, for some reason, it tastes like wasabi, so I might regret a little bit of putting that much on there right now. It doesn't really taste that good. It's not like the typical mustard. So, um, yeah, we're gonna add the ketchup and hopefully it's gonna taste good. McDonald's ketchup, let's go. Let's get 
the whole packet on here and the other one basically the whole thing's finished and mmm very good thank you for watching the cooking show if you liked it remember to smash like and subscribe because it really helps out small channels like mine and I'll see you guys next time bye